for this the National Geographic. Uh, I think. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pardon me? I'm sorry. The name? I'm pre Bezalin with the National Geographic. <coughs> yes. Years ago in Jerusalem, I ran into quite a few moderate Arab voices who expressed the final desire that they no longer wish to supplant Israel, that they wish to live in peace mm -hmm. in their own state. Yes. Uh, do you find this is an increasing trend, and do you believe it? I don't believe it at all. Credible Arabs not aware to express that idea? I believe that. Of course they, they express it. I don't believe them. It's that simple. My God. They know that war will not give them a state. They know that. And so they speak to you. We're a nice chap, an American, who was raised in, in fair play and everything else. I was also raised in that, in that way. And I went to the Middle East, and I learned about the real world. Uh, and so they tell you, of course we want peace. The same Arabs who, in 1967, were jumping around, and you saw them on TV, perhaps, shouting, throw the Jews into the, into the sea, when they thought that they could. Now they know that they, that they cannot. So therefore, they said they want peace. When, when we give them back everything, and they're once again 15 miles from the sea, what will happen then? What will happen then? The presumption is that they don't want peace. After five wars, that's the presumption. If they want to rebut that, they have to make the compromises and the changes, and not us. We suffered enough dead in wars begun by the Arabs. Yes. 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 Yes.